गुरु साक्षात परा ब्रह्मा तस्माय श्री गुरुवे नमः आई वेलकम ऑल द पीपल हु आर इन द टेंपल जय दुर्गा टेंपल टुडे हियर ऑन सैटरडे मॉर्निंग एंड आल्सो द पीपल हु आर ऑनलाइन देयर वाज अ कपल ऑफ सेशंस वी मिस्ड बिकॉज़ ऑफ वेरियस सेलिब्रेशंस एंड सो टुडे वी आर अगेन मीटिंग टू स्टडी फर्दर ऑन द श्रीमद् भगवत गीता Uh, just to recap on that, why we are studying Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Uh, Gita is considered as one of the most uh, pious uh, uh, book uh, in uh, in uh, in Sanatan Dharma. Uh, but uh, in today's life, uh, we are uh, missing the connection between what is being taught or what has been taught in by Srimad Bhagavad Gita and uh, how it is applicable in our life. Uh, we pray we pray gods and we pray the book and we give a respect we follow the you know the celebrations but unless there is a buddhi buddhi yoga tvima shrunu today today we are going to get that shloka unless there is a intellectual uh, intellectual understanding why i am doing something uh, then we are uh, not going to get the crux of it and we will not be having a complete uh, understanding and faith of why we are following a uh a a, uh, a a a dharma it's not a religion it's a dharma why we are following a dharma for over 10000 years so that's the reason why we are studying it and we are studying it uh, from the point of uh, completely from the point of logical understanding of it and its application in today's life for everyone and that is why this program name is srimad bhagavad gita uh, for me today uh, now and in for future Uh, under that program uh, we are uh, studying shrimad bhagavad gita uh, trying to understand the shlokas uh, uh, you know we do not know sanskrit so we are trying to do the anvaya of the sanskrit words uh, understand it and uh, also try to apply it in everyday life wherever it is possible and and depending on our understanding <coughs> so i will continue with the uh, second chapter uh, sankhya yoga nama uh, when uh, the arjun was very much uh, upset and said arjun vishad yog naam is the first vishad he was in a vishad that was the first chapter and when arjun is telling uh, two reasons why not to fight uh, we always uh, see in our life that there are uh, dilemmas uh, whether to fight or not whether to argue or not whether to resist or not to resist <coughs> and then uh, with various reasons uh, we find or we try to invent uh, we uh, decide that uh, whether we want to fight or we want to just uh, leave it as it is uh, we accept the defeat uh, right in the beginning even before the war starts that is what arjun did arjun told that i first he told that i do not want to kill my kith and kin uh, just because to get the uh, kingdom and secondly he told that because so many people will be dying the the negative effect of the war as we have seen in world war 1 and 2 also that so many men died and because so many men died Uh, there were so many women uh, uh, in more in numbers which created a imbalance in the in the gender of the society and that brought so many uh, evils in the society uh, which include uh, perversion and so many other things so arjun has got this two uh, reasons mainly uh, to not to fight it is a righteous fight he has to fight he is a kshatriya and he is supposed to fight uh, that war but he told that uh, gandhi sansasthe hastaha i cannot even hold my my uh, my weapon gandhi gandhi is the weapon uh, the bow and arrow the name of the bow of arjun is gandhi so he is telling i can't even hold it my my brain is not working and that is why the uh, the, the bhagwan krishna uh, started with uh, explaining him and the very first one is a sankhya yoga so sankhya yoga nama dvitiya adhyaya in that sankhya yoga we are going ahead up to uh, 36th shloka we were there and we will continue from there uh, onwards <coughs> if anybody has missed this session uh, they can go online with uh, jay durga temple site and they can look at the earlier uh, sessions uh, so i will do the chanting of uh, this shloka 20 uh, second chapter 36th shlok and we will go ahead from there ava chavadan chabahun vadishanti tavahitah निंदनातस्तव सामर्थ्यम ततो दुखतरम नुकीम दिस इज श्लोक वी वर सेइंग अवाच्यवादास अवाच्यवादांश्च मींस हार्श वर्ड अवाच्य 
va 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 is connected with the uh, va is a base word which is connected with the sound that is why vang mai the one the the, the 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 literature is called vang mai vak vak means vani the the our, our ability to speak so va word is related to the sound in sanskrit so a vachya a means no anything a is no a mar that means one who doesn't die so avachya vadanscha something which is not good it is not good to speak that means harsh words avachya vadanscha bahud vadishyanti tava hita tava ahita tava means yours ahita means one who doesn't feel doesn't want doesn't want to see good happening to you so all the people who are tava hita means one who are not uh, who are your enemies will talk down will talk harsh words for you if you do not fight and nindana tastava samarthyam so they are going to show nindana nindana means defame they are going to defame your capability arjun is a very big warrior arjun is a great warrior and it is uh, understood that uh, he uh, he is a, he is not a conquerable uh, uh, you know warrior but when he will run away from the battlefield what people will do people will talk about his capability samarthyam samarthyam his mightiness they will he will, they will talk down they will talk uh, with a harsh word about his capacity ah arjun has not got any capacity to fight he was not a great warrior he was a coward and that is why he ran away and when they were going to talk with like that about you if you run away from the uh, from the battlefield tato dukha taram nukim when they are going to talk about it how how much pain you are going to feel it will be more painful to you while you are capable and you ran away and now they are going to talk about the harsh, about that in a harsh word that is what the god is explaining here so and we talked about uh, the uh, mr richard cory the story of richard cory a rich man who suicide uh, which is explained by a poor man uh, we talked about it that the unhappiness is not related to the resources unhappiness is in the mind so we have got lot of uh, things over here we have got bungalow and car and uh, good health and lot of money and fame so many things but still we have seen in uh, case of uh, uh, hollywood and other people they have got lot of fame and money but they suicide they are in great depression they are in uh, they are having lots of depression they are going into drug and other addiction why what is making them so unhappy what is making them so much uh, you know uh, uh, thinking the life is very difficult and they 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 succumb into such things even though they have got lot of money and lot of pain this is the example it is telling here that if you do not fight if you do not fight your war if you do not take the righteous action at right time as per your varna as per your nature then you are going to have a feeling a sting in your heart that i didn't do this at that moment and that sting is going to keep you bugging in your head in your heart as a pain throughout the life that is why it is very important that whenever a opportunity comes whenever a situation comes in our life where we are supposed to fight fight doesn't mean war fight doesn't mean only that the blood and the sword and the cut off limbs and all that fight means resistance fight means righteous way of asking for the thing which are supposed to be good for self as well as for the society that is what a righteous thing and then samarthyam here the samarthyam means the mightiness so arjun is a mighty warrior so he is supposed to fight mightily somebody will say oh i am very weak person i don't have money i don't have that much of brain i don't have that much fame i am not that beautiful i am not physically that fit how much i can do you do as per your samarthyam and then there is a example for it we know uh, that when uh, uh, bhagwan ram was making the setu from uh, the, to reach uh, lanka to get uh, mata sita ji uh, out from the, the ravan's uh, place uh, he was making a uh, he was making a bridge and in the bridge uh, there were so many large stones which were taken by all the monkeys and, uh, uh, and all the bear the bhalu and uh, you know bandar and all those people they were throwing it now there was a little a squirrel uh, sitting on the side of the road and he, he was watching it the do oh, there are so many people are working for the wa wa working for what ram ka kaam 
किस काम में जुड़ जाओ राम के काम में जुड़ जाओ राम के काम में राम द वर्क ऑफ द राम वॉट वॉज द वर्क ऑफ द राम एट दैट टाइम एट दैट टाइम द वर्क ऑफ द राम वॉज सुद मे के ब्रिज सो शी थॉट दैट हाउ हाई आई कैन हेल्प I cannot uh, lift such a big smolder. I cannot, uh, you know, uh, do all this big work and the wood and everything. I can't lift it. But how much efficiency, how much capacity I have? I am a squirrel. What I will do? She ran into the water of the of the ocean. She get herself wet. She comes on the shore. She uh, she uh, turn herself in the sand of the of the shore, seashore, and then she will go over the bridge and she will shake away all that sand particles. little sand particles how many sand particles can be there on a wet squirrel skin very less but she put it over there to so that the gap between the the smolders the the stones will be reduced it can be a stronger bridge and ram ram identified it and ram uh, uh, put uh, his it, it is told like that that ram put his hand on the squirrel's back by petting like this oh good job you know like that and then that is why the squirrel has got those lines on the uh, on the back that is what is a kind of a story over there what it means for us that whatever is our capacity join the ram's work what is ram's work we will understand it further in gita gita is explaining the whole karma yoga karma yoga is ram work so it is explaining us whatever is our capacity whatever is our samarthya whatever way oh should i do it one hour a uh, one hour a day one hour a month one hour a year doesn't matter whatever is your capacity right to your heart you put your efforts in the righteous work for yourself even for yourself even for the family even for the society anything but put it in a righteous work with full of your capacity and that is what the samarthyam year word is samarthyam doesn't mean only those people who are having fame lot of money physical strength and all those things no it's not that way so even if you have got the smallest samarthya smallest capacity but if you don't do that work you will have a repentance throughout the life which is tato dukha taram nukim mm. now here we will go further on 37th shloka there are so many things we can talk but we have to go further so we'll go to the 37th shloka ato va prapsyasi swargam जित्वा वा भोक्षसे महिम तस्मादुत्तिष्ठकांतेयुद्धायतनिश्चयाप्तसी सर्व हतो हत मीन्स डाई कट इफ यू डाय हतो वा इफ यू विल डाय इन द वॉर गॉड इज टेलिंग फर्दर हतो वा प्राप्यसी प्राप्य मीन्स टू गैट विसे प्राप्ति मीन्स आई गॉट आई अचीव हतो वा प्राप्यसी स्वर्ग If you die, you will go to the heaven. And jitva va bhoksha se mahim. Mahim means a un 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 a very large kingdom which is not having any enemies. It is a excellent kingdom that is called as a mahim. Mahim means the kingdom on the earth, largest kingdom on the earth. So jitva va bhoksha se mahim. If you die, you will going to swarga. And if you win, you are going to enjoy the kingdom. You will be the king of the kingdom. so that is why tasmat tasmat that is why therefore uttishth kaunte ya uttishtha arise that is why arise kaunte means the son of the kunti kaunte means son of the kunti arjun's mother name was kunti so one of the arjun name is kaunte ya tasmat uttishth kaunte ya that is why arise arise o kaunte ya arise o arjun yuddhaya krut nischaya kruta nischaya see here the word arise and kruta nischaya are very important kruta nischaya means with determination you should arise with determination there are there are two important words here one is determination and other is uh, uh, dreams a determination or a what is called as a sankalpa in uh, in sanskrit means you are determined and you are positively motivated and you definitely want to make a difference by that point even though it is the smallest one like i will do that uh, i will do, i will brush my teeth every night before going to bed the smallest thing but when we are tired or we are eating something we say okay you know what i will wake up later and i will do so it is 
determination can is not only for making big kingdoms determination is even for the smallest thing in our life i will wake up in the morning and i will do 10 surya namaskar once in a week i will wake up on saturday morning i will do the say, seven o'clock and i will do the surya namaskar i will do some exercise for my body to be more healthier that is also a, a determination that is also a, a kruta nishchaya for anything which is done with determination is a kruta nishchaya so here is the position here in the situation now because arjun is trying to run away he is trying to uh, rationalize why not to fight god is explaining hato va prapsasi sarvam jitva va bhokshase mahim if you are going to die in the war then you are going to get the swarga the heaven and if you are going to win you are going to enjoy the kingdom that is why uttishtha so here let us understand each word uh, you know the meaning in in definition in english will be if you fight you will either be slain on the battlefield and go to the celestial abodes that is swargam heaven or you will gain victory and enjoy the kingdom on earth therefore arise the determination that is what god is telling so here we have to understand many words one is the swarga what is swarga we all have heard about swarga and everybody wants to go to the swarga i sometimes joke that you know everybody wants to go to swarga but nobody wants to die everybody thinks that i want to go to swarga as i am so let us go uh, let us see the definition of swarga what is a swarga or heaven uh, we talked about it around uh, seven sessions before when we talked about swarga word again again this word has come over here what is a swarga swarga means it is somewhere up in the sky uh, swarga is means it's a place where there is no thirst there is no hunger there is no pain there is no aging you are ever eternally young and you can enjoy all the all the sensual happiness unlimited uncontrolled is that the swarga what is a swarga and we talked about that uh, a, a little sessions ago swarga so in other words if we if we, in nutshell if we combine all those uh, imaginations of swarga it means one sentence it means that we are allowed to do what we like to do so swarga is a place where we are allowed to do something which we like to do abundantly and eternally that is a swarga it may be anything for a smoker for a guy who drinks and drinks and gets the gets the drugging he will say in my swarga there will be lots of liquor there will be lots of smoke for him that is a swarga a guy who is not smoking he will say oh it is a smokeless environment that is a swarga for him that is a swarga for him so what is a swarga a endless means there is no end to it abundant means there is no limit to the amount and what i like that is a swarga so here hatova prapsisi swargam so what is a swarga for arjun arjun is a warrior arjun will like to fight arjun will like to fight a righteous war he will he, uh, if you ask arjun arjun you are going to sit in a palace and eat nice food and be with your wife and enjoy with your kids one choice second choice you fight a righteous war you go outside on the battlefield and you fight a righteous war and you may be injured what will arjun select arjun will select the war because he likes a war he is a kshatriya kshatraya a guy who is fighting with the second guy for the third person yeah that is a kshatriya so he will take he will take the battle he will say yes i will go for a battle we go for the sports right we all go we play uh, various games we sweat we are tired sometimes we are injured we sprain our muscles but we'll say oh so if you sprain your muscle today will you go tomorrow you should not be going no i will go why because you like it in other words a a thing which you like to do even on this earth is the swarga for you that is the swarga for you so swarga means something you like to do or something and what we like to do now my liking is changing somebody will say we say when i was a young boy i like to play with marbles you know the marbles and when i was a little girl i like to play with the dolls but now when i am big i am older i have grown up as a mature person i don't like to play with the dolls so my 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 choices are changing so how my swarga will be same if somebody told when you were a young baby you were, you like the dolls so when you will die and you go to the swarga there will be so many dolls 
the person will say oh what is there in the dolls i don't want to go to the doll like that so swarga means what which you like to do how do i decide what i like to do as per my varna here kshatriya is the varna of arjun and that is why he likes to fight even if he was a kid he will like to do the righteous work he will like to tra- practice with his weapons he will like to do the ruling of the people that is kshatriya so hatova prapsesi swarga means while you will be fighting even though you will sprain your body or even if you die you will be so happy that you are in swarga that is a meaning over here there are both meanings one is that he will do the work which he likes that is why he will feel that i am happy as a, as, if, as if i have been a swarga and the second meaning is when you die when you are reborn if you have done your job correctly as per the rule of karma as per the law of karma you will be in a better house you will be in a better shape so naturally you are in swarga somebody will say swarga means what oh there is a big industrialist there is a indian big industrialist somebody must have many must people must have heard his name oh ambani ambani i should be son or daughter of mukesh ambani why i should be that because i will have a lot of money that is swarga for a person yeah so you will be born in a, in a in a better way in a better place if you do your job rightly that way also hatova prapsasi swargam swarga will be in multiple ways it is explained over here and we have to understand it but what is the message over here is that you do your righteous work you do the work which you like to do we have got our sisters over here see just now they are putting all the all the dresses on the god uh, uh, idols why do they come in the morning why do they do that because they like to do and that is why they are doing it anybody who likes to do the thing put it in the rama's work put it in the god's work that is how the work is done even if it is smallest doesn't matter whatever smallest size it is and yuddhayak uttishta uttishta means what <clears throat> see when we wake up from the bo- from the bed in the morning every day you know monday morning we have done we have all the enjoyment until saturday sunday night and all that and then monday morning oh no today is monday we wake up from the bed with a very very sorrow a sorrowful mind oh my god where the job i will have to go and we curse ourselves we curse all the world and then we somehow dress up and we go to our job whatever job it is we may do a job we may go to a business anywhere that is not uttisht that is not uh, standing up arise means in, it is inside you arise once a person has arise they never sleep so arise and awakening is important for somebody to decide it is somebody to achieve the goals with zeal they work with the zeal that is what arise is arise has got so many uttishta has got so many meaning uttishta doesn't mean just to wake up from the sleep or just to stand up uttishta means determiningly you decide and you work positively towards that goal towards that achievement which you want to do that is uttishta and yuddhaya krutha nischaya so you you start fighting you, you do the yuddha with a krutha nischaya with determination krutha nischaya means determination so here this shloka is clearly explaining us the the importance of karma if you do your karma if you do your work you will be feeling while doing that work you will feel that you are in a heaven you are like a swarga and if you achieve a, a positive result from it then you will be enjoying the positive fruit but even if you do not enjoy that fruit you like just like games you know is exactly similarly you may play a game there are two teams one both the team work hard both the team uh, you know uh, team members uh, do their most efficiency one team uh, wins and other team fails they do not win but if you ask them did you like to play or the game they will say yes i like to play the game i like the game it was a tough challenge we didn't uh, you know uh, got uh, the medal but you know what we enjoyed playing the game so hatova prapchasi sargam means you enjoy the work which you like to do if you work with the determination and you stand up uttishtha you you work with uh, you arise and determination is in your mind to do that work that is uttishtha and krutha nischaya now there is one more example over here is that you know uh, why do we put the people in the jail what is what is the what is the jail
what is jail in a jail what do we do we, we put the people behind the bars a person is not allowed to do anything which he or she likes to do uh, they have to follow the instructions and the guidelines uh, given by others and they have got no opportunity to move around freely and experience uh, and enjoy their life uh, with the outside world that is what a jail is do they get food yeah they get the food or uh, do they get safety yes they have got the safety uh, can they get any education yes if they want they can do even study in the jail so if you are outside the jail if you are not in a jail but if you are not doing the work which we are supposed to do then we will be in a jail we are outside in the world we are moving around but if we do not do what we want to do we do not have a determination and a, and a goal in our mind to do something and we just live our life by eating and just doing the normal work then it will be like a jail so to enjoy a life we should come out of it the example of jail is given because nobody enjoys the jail why because of this limitations if we follow the same limitations because of our own mindset outside the life also out, outside like in the regular world also then we are like in a jail and we will not enjoy it and that will also give us the same unhappiness tato dukha taram nukim that will also give the same unhappiness in our life so that is why tasmad uttishta kaunteya yuddhaya krutha nishchaya now when we fight what will happen there will be some results there will be positive results or negative results there may be some in between results some things we achieve some things we achieve less some things we do not achieve at all in that thing what happens a person's mind become uh, impacted by the results now how to handle that is the next shloka god is explaining us so let me chat the next shloka over here सुख दुख समय कृत्वा लाभा लाभो जया जयो ततो युद्धाय युज्यस्व नैवं पापम वाप्स्यसी सुख दुख समय कृत्वा सुख हैप्पीनेस दुख डिस्ट्रेस समय कृत्वा समय कृत्वा मींस ट्रीटिंग अलाइक व्हेन द फाइट विल बी देयर व्हेन द वॉर विल बी देयर व्हेन यू आर डूइंग योर एक्टिविटीज एंड एक्शंस after getting uttishta after standing up and arise and with determination still the results will vary results will be less or more <coughs> than expected in such case what will happen if the results are favorable we will feel happy sukha and the results are unfavorable or not equal to the expectation then we will be dukha we will become unhappy we will be distressed so god is telling when you are going to fight sukha dukha will come sukha and dukha will come there are always two sides of a coin whenever we fight there are always going to be results which are part of favorable and part non favorable sukha dukha and that will impact our our mind our heart our thinking but to continue with the fight to continue with our work with determination what we will need sukha dukha samay krutva any happiness or sorrow which is coming out of the fruits of the actions samay krutva you treat them alike labha labho jaya jayo lab gain alab loss see here sanskrit is a very interesting uh, language anything which is a means means negative no the opposite antonym so labha means gain alabha means loss <coughs> and when a is meeting with the a in the next word when there is a a the the vowel of a in the in the last word last alphabet of the first word and the first alphabet of the second word then both the a plus a a plus a becomes a and that is why labha labho jaya jayo labha labho so labha alabha labha alabha and jaya ajaya jaya means victory ajaya means defeat so sukha dukha and labha alabha happiness and and distress or sorrow labha again and alabha means a loss and ajaya means victory and alabha means defeat these are going to come 
in any way, anything, anything which we do, there is always going to be this. So, with this, should we stop? The question is, should we stop? Should we stop doing the work which we like to do? Should we think about it? The first part is, should we think about it? Somebody will say, you know what? A karma kiye ja, ha. Karma kiye ja, phal ki icha kyo karta hai insaan, ha. Just keep doing your karma. But you know what? It is a very dry. It is very dry. If I just keep doing the thing without any, any understanding of what the fruits are, then there is no retrospection. So here God is not telling us about uh, not doing a retrospection. See, there is a difference between a very dry way of doing and a very, uh, uh, you know, a wholeheartedly doing. Let us take an example. Uh, if, if, a, if, a, if a little boy is sick, now if there is a nurse who is taking care of the boy, I, I do not deny the, 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 uh, the kindness in the heart of the nurse, but what will happen? She will be giving the uh, medicine to the uh, kid, she will give the bath, uh, the sponge, uh, give the treatment, if there is an injury, there is a dressing, everything will be done by the nurse in a very professional way, in a very latest scientific innovative way how the work has been established by the standard operating procedure, SOP. The nurse will do it. There is absolutely nothing, she will not be doing it. But what if the mother of the child is treating the same boy? Maybe the mother is not knowing it correctly. Maybe the mother is not uh, educated or certified by the certifying body like some university or some uh, you know, education board. How to nurse, how to, how to do the treatment of a child. But the way the mother will do is entirely different than how a nurse will do. Why? Because there is a difference in heart. There is a difference in ownership. When we own something, then we are uttishta and we are determined. When we do not own something, then we are not uttishta or determined. Then we are merely doing our duty. I was told and I was standing over there. I was told and I did it. That's all. There is no heart in it. There is no uh, internal determination. There is, you do not put your soul into that work. So what happens that the work becomes dry? That is why we feel that, you know, a person is doing his duty, but I am not happy with the service. Why? Because a person is not putting the heart into it. Today's biggest problem in the management, there are millions of dollars being invested on the one word, ownership. We go into management, we go into companies, you always see the training, own your company, own your job, let us have the ownership. All those words, all those buzzwords from management side are being taught in largest schools. Just to teach one thing, having a ownership. Having a ownership to the work, what you are doing. Do we have to teach that to a mother that you are having the ownership to treat your child? No. It comes. So, ownership is something very important here. So, when we own something, we will have, and we will do the uttishtha and we will work. We will have sukha and dukha and we will have laba, alaba, jaya and ajaya. We will be having victory, we will be having a loss. So should we stop it? Tato yuddhaya yujjaswa naivam papam vapsasi. Here the word papa has come. Very important word, pap, seen. What is the seen? So the sloka meaning is fight for the sake of duty. Treating alike, happiness and distress, loss and gain, victory and defeat. Fulfilling your responsibility, tato yuddhaya yujjaswa. Fulfilling your responsibility in this way, you will never incur a sin. You will never incur a sin. Now, here this is very interesting, that you will never incur a sin. Imagine if the Arjun, and which he actually did, Arjun start fighting, he will kill people. So killing people is not a sin. So many women and will become widows. So many children will become uh, orphan. Will it not be a sin? And God is telling him to fight. So what is a sin here? In our mind, sin is very simple. You do not kill any animal or you do not uh, injure anybody 
or you do not uh, uh, steal from someone you do not do robbery uh, you do not tell a lie that is called as a, as a you know that is called as a good thing if you do all those things you are doing a sin that is in our mind in our mind the definition of sin is very clear no blood no beating no hitting no killing on a physical term then on a on a financial term no stealing no cheating uh, that is sin that is what is they taught to us for ages in our mind that is called as a sin is that a sin yes it is but in what condition is very important Arjun is going to kill so many uh, warriors. Is he not going to have a, a biggest scene in the world? Masakere, eleven aukshini. We when we started this Gita, we talked about the dimensions and the you know the how many people are there? Ten thousand warriors, just warriors in a, in one aukshini. So eleven aukshini, hundred and ten thousand warriors. Only the walking warriors will be dying when Arjun is going to fight. Is it not a big massacre? Is it not a scene? But God is telling, if you are not going to fight, it is going to seen. It's going to be seen. Why? So we have to understand the scene. What is the scene? But before that, how to treat happiness and distress and loss and gain alike? How can we do that? Somebody will say, Oh, it is impossible. If I gain something, I will be happy. I should be happy. If I worked hard, if I studied hard, and I got good marks in the school, in my class. I should be happy. No, I got something. And similarly, if I worked hard and I didn't get mark uh, sufficient marks, I failed in some of the papers. I should be unhappy. No, we have, we should be happy. Otherwise, there will be no enjoyment in the life. If I am not happy, somebody will say, "Oh, you have become gold medal in university." Oh, yo, yeah, that is okay. If somebody will say like that, people will say, "What this guy is? He is never happy. He is never smiling." So should we not be happy? But God is telling us same krutva. The important word is same krutva means there will be a feeling of happiness and unhappiness. There will be a feeling of jaya and ajaya, the victory and the loss. There will be a feeling. There will be always a feeling when the results come. There will be a feeling because there are results coming. But same krutva, treat them alike. That is what God is explaining here. What is God explaining? Treat them alike. You will get the loss. You will get the profit. You will get. You will gain something. You will lose something. But in both cases, your mind should be stable because you both you take both of them alike. When you take them alike, that means that you will not be impacted by the results of the previous action. I will not be. Either inefficient or demotivated, or uh, or uh, uh, less productive for my next actions and my next, uh, uh, you know, uh, putting my efforts. If I am impacted by my previous experiences of sukha and dukha, jaya and ajaya, lab and alaba, not getting the residual effect. Of the results of the previous one is the best way to go towards success in the next one. Does it mean we do not retrospect? No, we the retrospect, we evaluate, we try to see कहाँ भूल हुई वहाँ से फिर से गिनो या you 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 uh, you uh, calculate again where the mistake happened and you start doing from there again. There is no there is no barring to retrospection. What is there? The impact of that result should not be. It should not be impacting your brain, your efficiency, your capacity, your productivity. And to do that, it is same krutva. The word same krutva is very important. It is not that. Oh, you know what? Sorrow and uh, happiness is both same. They are not same. God knows it. We are all humans, and God is knowing about it. That humans will feel happy or unhappy. Yes, humans will feel. But taste, look at them alike. That is important. There will be always a result coming, but look at them, see, see them as a alike. That is why samekrutva is a word important. 
another important word here is a pap what is a pap <coughs> so not doing our duty is pap in one very simple way not doing our duty is pap so somebody will ask okay so what is my duty i wake up in the home i wake up every day morning i go to my office i do my job very well i come home back and so i am good i am a nice man i need not to worry about anything but that is merely to eat your bread to earn your bread and butter it is not the part of your duty our duty as a human is beyond the prakruti look at let us let us take an example let us go a little slow here <coughs> you take a dog or an animal and you take a man what is the difference between two of them they both have the body <coughs> with the, which is containing the bone and the flesh and everything they both have the gender they work as per their gender either they become father or a mother depending on how their body is okay no but they do not get educated well we get, go to the school only because we are unable to earn our bread and butter by merely existing in physical form that is why we are going to with the study if tomorrow the god will give us a skin which will be able to resist anything in the weather what is going to come and even if we are going to eat from a garbage like a raccoon and we are still not going to uh, uh, fall sick or anything 95% of the people will stop going to the schools because now i don't need to go to the school so what is a plus value in a human being mano buddhi chitta mana buddhi chitta and ahankar these are the things which are additional in a human being we are capable to think we are given a buddhi a dog has got a brain yeah it has got a brain but it is pre programmed brain it cannot go further a lion was hunting deer 10000 years ago and it is still hunting the deer after 10000 years <laughs> they do not progress because they are pre programmed animals ahara bhaya maithun and an indra ahara means eating <clears throat> bhaya means fear maithun means the uh, sensual happiness and indra means sleep these four things are common in animals and humans so if in our whole die, day in our whole month in the whole year if we are doing our activities which are related to these four things for eating or earning bread that is the uh, you know the business or the job which we are doing 8 hours then it is equal to a dog who is searching for a bone on the street there is no difference then we are equal to an animal similarly bhaya they are also afraid of something and we are also having bhaya ha ah, what if i lose my job what if i lose my relatives they are sick i'll be worried about it yeah defame there are five type of bhaya there are five type of bhaya it will come when we go further so animals are afraid humans are afraid nindra sleep they also sleep we also sleep yeah ahar bhaya maithun and any end body uh, you know the sensual happiness we also feel happy while eating a nice uh, sweet uh, a dog is happy while chewing a bone uh, he has found out of a garbage bag yeah he is also happy they both enjoy the same way even though we think oh it is out of garbage it is dirty no for the for a dog it is a great thing it is the most tastiest uh, taste, uh, you know dish for a dog for a raccoon so what is uncommon so where we are telling papa means we are doing only those four thing in our life and we are not going beyond that is papa that is pap pap does not mean only what is unduly beating somebody or killing or something like that pap is akarmanata when we do the akarmanata when we do not do our duty as a human being and what body has been given to us that is pap so for arjun as he is a warrior he has to fight a righteous war if he doesn't fight that war then it is a pap for him but if he fights the war and he kills hundreds and thousands of of soldiers in you know in the battlefield 
it is not a papa for him we have to be very clear in our mind because of uh, you know there are two uh, big uh, uh, thought schools which came in the history of in, in the history of uh, bharat varsha that is buddhism and jainism both of thought both of those thoughts were correct at that time but that get give an impact in the mind of the people all through the length of in, till today for 3000 years that papa means what kisi ko maarna nahi beat nahi don't beat anyone do not kill anyone do not steal from anyone bhagwan krishna was stealing makkan from uh, in uh, in his uh, uh, in the nanda gaon so he was a cheater then he was doing papa he killed so many demons that is papa ram killed so many demons and devils what is pap a, a complete misunderstanding has been inculcated has been has been put into the mind that that is pap so don't do that so we became a defeatless a, a, a defenseless society we became a defenseless society because the definition of papa was told in that way a very very big diversion came in the in the history of bharat varsha and everybody started thinking in that line so not beating uh, you know uh, 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 not fighting is a good way to uh, li of life that is what has been understood explained taught and followed that is what is done and that is why we see today the situation that is why we see the today situation where we are in but not going into politics not going into religion let us understand the definition of papa means not doing your prescribed duty as your varna is papa if i am a kshatriya if i am walking on a street and if i see there is one old man who is being harassed by other some young teenagers i should protect that old man because i am a kshatriya i should protect him oh that is understandable yeah that is a little understandable but if i am a vaishya for example krushi gau raksha vanijyam vaishya karma swabhavaja ha if i am a businessman i should earn maximum amount of money nothing wrong in money nothing wrong in earning money but where you use it where to use that money how to use that money in what way i am using that money is the karma of vaishya that is a vaishya karma so if i am not doing my duty as per my varna and we talked about it before and i will keep on repeating that throughout our gita because varna is the biggest one chatur varna maya srushtam bhagwan has told himself that chatur varna i prepare this poor varna there is no up and down there is no hierarchy there is a natural inclination there is a quality by which a person is born some people are born fighters they will fight for righteousness all the time even though he is a very slim person even though he is a short slim incapable uh, uh, poor person still he will fight why because he is kshatriya similarly some people will be highly skilled in earning money highly skilled in earning money he is vaishya we are all taught how to earn money but we are never taught how to use that money we are never taught how to use the money as a parents we tell the kids study more study more you will get a good job you will get a good job you will earn more money we always go towards that but do we tell the kid after earning that money how will you use it where will you use it in what way you will use it how will you look at that money sukha dukha samay krutva labha labho jaya jaya yeah when the money will come you will not become egoistic person if you understand gita because it is equal it will not give make you fall down when the dukha will come and it will not make your superiority complex when you become a, a successful person that is what gita is so gita is resolving the problem of superiority complex and inferiority complex as well that is what gita is teaching us so gita is a everyday everyday sol everyday uh, solution we'll come to it how we how we apply also i will keep on doing it so basically papa is a karmanata not doing your duty deviating from your duty as per your birth 
as per your nature as per your natural inclination and that will be a papa and what will happen with that papa you will always be having a string in your mind that i oh i had an opportunity but i didn't do it you ask the people who have crossed their 50s and ask them what is the biggest point of repentance in your mind which are the things which you repent they will not say that oh i didn't earn that money and all that thing and i didn't do this yeah they may say about it but the biggest repentance in the people mind is what i didn't do a small thing which i was supposed to do my father was old my mother was old she she wanted she was uh, cooking the food and i didn't help her in cleaning even cleaning the utensils i was sitting and watching on my mobile tick 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 i was watching tv and i am not helping my mother mother will die one day and you will become 60 year old and then you will repent oh i didn't help my mother even though it is smallest thing that is repentance that is papam so akarmanata not doing your duty as a child is papam that is papam so if you are a warrior not fighting a war is a papam imagine you are in a military you are a fighter plane uh, pilot and you are told okay you go in the enemy area and do this bombarding you have to do it because that is your duty you cannot say oh papam i will be killing so many people so many animals will be dying such a big destroying you cannot say that because that's your duty we understand that he has a duty to some extent in our earning bread and butter but we don't understand that as our human being ourselves that is a uh, that is the point where we are supposed to open our eyes and that opening the eyes is nothing but uttishtha uttishtha means what open your eyes start with the determination tasmat uttishtha kaunteya yuddhaya yukrutu nischay that is what it is so papam means akarmanata not doing your duty you are doing your prescribed duty as a human being doing activities only indulging into eat um, sleep fear and sensual happiness ahara bhaya maitu nancha nindra that is the papam that is why god is telling here that if you do not war, do the war if you do not go into the war if you do not fight it will involve you into the papam it will make you uh, a, a responsible for the scene that is what the scene is you have to be very clear what the definition of scene definition of scene is not i am not doing puja yes definitely we must do i am not against it at all we must do puja murti puja is one of the most important science there is nowhere in the world nowhere in the world such a greatest scientific thought which is there in the murti puja in our temples so it is very important that we do it but only doing it without understanding without putting the brain is not correct so that is why and god knows about it god knows that where we are you know what we are like a blind person who will go and bang on this wall and bang on the other wall and bang on the third wall we will not walk straight god knows and that is why god has told the next shloka 39th shloka of the second chapter i will chant it esha te bihita sankhe buddhir yoge tvima shrunu buddhaya yuk तो यया पार्थ कर्म बंद प्रहाय ससी एषा ते विहिता सांख्ये एषा एषा मीन्स इधर टो गॉड नोज दैट वी विल हैव क्वेश्चंस वी विल हैव डाउट्स सो दैट इज व्हाई ही इज टेलिंग बुद्धि योगे और तीमा त्रिमा सुनो बुद्धि योग यूजिंग द इंटेलेक्ट this is one of the most important part which we are uh, which we are having uh, area of improvement in a very nice word using the brain using the intellect in our actions is extremely important especially in terms of the religion and the in the holy uh, the working so eshate bhitam sankhe eshate and abhihita abhihita means explained so now i will as i have told you the sankhya yoga i will also show you the buddhi yoga to use the sankhya yoga 
I will tell you the Buddhi Yoga. By the Yoga, Yoga means what? Now Yoga is a very important uh, word which is going to come multiple times over here in our uh, uh, in, in in our Gita study. Yoga means what? Now uh, in our uh, general uh, life over here, uh, first of all we say Yoga instead of a Yoga. We say Yoga, and then there are so many Yogas, and they are all mostly physical. There is a Hatha Yoga and uh, Raja Yoga and all this Yoga. But <clears throat> what the Yoga? Yoga in very simple, direct meaning in Sanskrit, Yoga means to join, to get connected, to be with, to be part of it, to stay with. Yoga means to join. And here God is telling, Buddhir Yoga Tvima Shrunu. Shrunu means to hear. Shra word is related to the sound but hearing side. Just like va word is related to sound but speaking side, the Sanskrit shru word will be shrunu, shruyatam. So shra word is related to that here. So buddhir yoga tvima shrunu, shrunu. I'll tell you, I'll tell you the buddhi yoga. So listen, shrunu, listen to me. Because Esa te bhitam sankhye. After explaining the sankhya about the analytical knowledge, put an intellect into it. Buddha ya yukto yaya partha. Buddha ya yukto. Yukta means united. When you unite your intellect with your work in this way, which way? Sankhya way. Then karma bandham prahasyasi. Then prahasyasi means you should be liberated. You will be released from. From what? Karma bandha. See, there are so many important words came here. Sankhya, buddhir yoga, uh, yukta, karma bandha, and related prahasyasi. So many words. Out of this all, karma bandha is one of the most important words which we will be trying to understand it. Uh, wh why? Wh what is karma bandha? What is karma, first of all? Is it just the work which I do every day after I wake up and before I sleep? Is that called as a karma? What is a karma? And bandha, abiding, bondage. How the bondage happens when I do my karma? And here telling karma bandha prahasyasi. You are released from the bondage of the karma. How that can happen? We will look at it. Uh, it's almost 11 o'clock now. So we will come next uh, Saturday and we will go forward from the second chapter 39th sloka. Uh, we'll try to understand just like every Saturday morning 10 to 11. We meet uh, online as well as in the temple over here. Uh, I request people coming to the temple. It is more, uh, uh, you know, more impacting, more understanding. You can even ask questions uh, in person. And uh, it is called as a Chaitanya to Chaitanya. A, a Chaitanya in one person to the other person when they talk in person is more impacting, more understanding, more, uh, you know, uh, uh, giving a clear explanation than uh, just on the line. So uh, being online is not bad, but being in temple will be a more better way to do. So I will stop over here and uh, we will come again back on uh, next Saturday at 10 o'clock. Vasudeva Sutam Devam Kansa Chanura Marganam Devaki Parmanandam Krishnam Vande Jagat Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Parabrahma, Asmai Sri Guru Vishnu.